Hey everybody, I'm in Boopy Studios today and I had a friend of mine request to see my version of Back Up and Push. So I'm going to break down each part, I'm going to play it kind of slow, and then we're going to go through it and teach it. So here's part one. Okay, so that starts with a, you're going to be in the C chord, and you're going to play a two and one together three times. Now you're going to slide up to this bar C position with a two one. I would slide from like where you're at, put your middle finger down and just slide all the way up. So it's a two one. Now you're going to play a forward roll, five two one, but this is going to be back, index finger, um, second string, third fret. So it's two one five two one. So it's now you're in F, so you have to switch fingers here. So as soon as you get here, you want to put your pinky finger, uh, first string, third fret, index finger here on the second string, first fret, to go into your standard F position. But you don't need all the fingers down right away. So we got. Now you're going to start with a forward roll, as soon as you get to F, 5, 2, 1, and then a 5, 1. Now, I like to do a hammer when I go into this. It's still part of the F chord, but I've had my finger off of it this, all this time. So I'm going to do a 3, 2, 1 with a hammer, and then just a 5, 2, 1, forward roll. So we got... time with that. Starting from the beginning. Now you're going to play that same thing again. Um, slide up into that bar C position and then back to that kind of G position. Now we're going to go to C. So you're going to be in your standard C position here. So so we now what I start doing here is just forward rolls. So it's five two one three two one five two one. So it's so it's so let's do that again. Now you're gonna do a split roll. Five two three one. Another split roll where you're going to put this finger down at the second fret and then back off again. So it's five, two, three, one split roll and then a three, two, three, one split roll with the first one down here at the second string, second fret. Now we go to G. So you're going to slide the third string forward roll. And what I do here, I go to this high G. So you're going to have index finger, second string, eighth fret, um, ring finger, first string, ninth fret. And sometimes I'll slide it up there too. So it's. 
so you're sliding just one fret is what I normally do. So it's five two one five two one two two forward rolls there. Now you're kind of back in a C chord here, so you're gonna take your middle finger down on the second string ninth fret, and I just kind of slide into this. It's more like an F position, but it's just a note here. So, so you're in your G position, middle finger down, second string, ninth fret, and just slide up a two one five two one. So let's go from that um, G slide. Now, stay where you are with your ring finger, and you just come back to the C position, um, index finger, second string, eighth fret, and what I do here is a five, and then a two and one together, and then another two and one together, and then another two and one together, where you're alternating between this, and then this is down, and then this back off. So you just put your middle finger, second string, uh, tenth fret, so it's and then a 5-2-1 forward roll. So let's go from the G again. Okay. So as soon as you get done with this, now the next part, it's almost exactly like the first part, but it kind of starts a little different. You've got a 5 to one here, so it's... I think I do like a hammer there from the 4th uh, fret to the 5th fret. So I'm up here. Now from here, it's exactly like what we just did, so I'll just run through that part. So it's... changes right here. So you're here in this G. Now you're going to go back, keep the same position with the G, and just slide it back two frets. So your index finger is on the second string sixth fret, ring finger is on the first string seventh fret. So I play a five and then a two and one together here. And then I just basically slide this finger back so you're at the first string fifth fret. My middle finger then goes on that bar C position at the fifth fret as, as well. And you play another five and a two and one together. And then this kind of G position where you take this index finger back again, uh, second string third fret. And then you're in C. So that little section was, see, from the G, Now you just, you're in C, so you play two forward rolls. So that's a um, five, two, one forward rolls. Now you're gonna go to a C7 here. And I take my pinky finger, third string, third fret, and you just play a forward back a roll. So let's go over the whole thing one more time. You got the two, the three two and ones together. Slide up to this C position real quick. F. Slide again. C. Split roll. Slide into your high G position. And then this. Now you start over.
slide into your high G. Right here. Two forward rolls. Forward backward rolls. That's part one. Okay, here's back up and push part two. Play it slow. Okay, so we just finished the C7 chord. So the beginning of part two, you go right to the F. So you put your pinky finger, first string, third fret, and you hit the first string. Then you got two forward rolls here. Now I go to the, the more full F chord here, and I do a hammer when I hit the third string, second fret. It's a forward backward roll, and when I get to the end of that forward backward roll, I come off that third string to play the open three. So now you go back to that slide up into C, just like you did on the first part. The timing's a little different here, although the pattern's pretty much the same. So it's two one five two one back here, and then you're going to go to your C chord, and you're going to play two forward rolls, three forward rolls, five two one three two one five two one. So it's so from that F at the beginning, now you've got a f um, five two one, and I come off of here even though I'm already here. I'm just thinking in G, I guess. So I come off the out of my C position, and I put my index finger. First string, second fret, and you're going to play a five, two, one, and then it's kind of half speed here. You're going to play a one, two, three, one, open. So it's so it's now you've got a split roll, four, two, three, one, and that fourth string was at the third fret. You're going to slide into C. with three forward rolls, five two ones. So it's C, now G, slide into C, and then, so you've repeated all that twice, actually. When you get done with that, those three forward rolls, you do a forward backward roll just like you did in the first part, C7, so you put your pinky finger down here on the third string, third fret, forward backward roll. Okay, this is part three. We'll play it first. As you can tell, that was pretty much the same thing over and over again. What you're going to do, it's, it's a little tricky because you're going to play the middle finger on the second string instead of the normal first string position. And it's all forward rolls. So the first one's a 4-3-2. They're all 4-3-2s. You're going to begin the standard F position at the beginning. Now the next one, you're going to put your pinky finger on the second string third fret, which is making it into like an F sixth chord. And then, if you can reach it, 
up here to the uh, fourth fret, another four, three, two. You're going to play a F7 this time. And then back to the sixth chord, which is a third fret. And then you've got a five, three, four, five, three, four, two split roll. Again, you're staying on that uh, second string with that middle finger. So it's Now you do the exact same thing in C. I like to usually slide these, so it's Now, even in G, I like to slide forward, so I kind of overshoot it and then come forward again. And back to C. Then I go up to this high F, usually. And then C. Now, you come out of that in your G chord, you're going to play a three with a pinch, slide with a split roll, back hammer, split roll, and slide into C. So that was. So this pattern is pretty useful. You can use this in I use this sometimes when I'm playing blues, so you can go. Okay, here's the ending. So you just split into C. You get into you slid into C. You're gonna play a five one, and then you're gonna play uh, a C seven. So you're gonna put the third string, third fret with the pinky finger, and you're gonna play. These are all three, two one two. Now you're gonna go to F, play the same pattern. Go to F minor. Same pattern, three, two, one, two. Then you got a third string open, pinch, slide into C. Now stay in C, except you just lift the uh, ring finger off and play a five, one, and then a pinch. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed backup and push.